A woman is accusing Detroit police of blundering the use of facial recognition, then plowing through an attempt to prosecute her for a crime she says she did not commit. And it all revolves around a carjacking case that involved two perpetrators, male and female. And as 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows us, allegations in the woman's lawsuit have DPD's top cop looking into her claims. Portia Woodruff says what Detroit police did was humiliating and flat out wrong in their use of facial recognition. That was embarrassing. Portia Woodruff is talking about being arrested for carjacking and armed robbery, crime she said she did not commit. It was mid-February and she was eight months pregnant with her baby boy when police showed up at her house to arrest her. I was scared. I was afraid. Uh, my kids were there crying. And I'm just, I'm stuck because I'm like, what am I going to do? These people are telling me they're trying to arrest me and take me to jail for something. I have no clue and no, no idea about. This case was uh, shocking to me to say the least. Woodruff and her attorney Ivan Land now suing the city and DPD for what they say was a false arrest that began with facial recognition and it left Woodruff sitting in a jail for 11 hours. I started having contractions while I was in jail. That's what that's how, why I had to go to the hospital after I was released. Woodruff's attorney says Detroit police use facial recognition to try to identify a woman seen on surveillance video at this gas station. The woman was turning in the carjacking victim's phone to the clerk. It's alleged Detroit police put that woman's image into facial recognition and it hit on Woodruff. Woodruff and her attorney say investigators then used an eight year old photo of her in a lineup and the victim ID'd her. I believe if they would have ran that photo through the current picture. Miss Woodroth would not be sitting here today. Woodruff and her attorney believe she would never have been arrested if investigators had asked the carjacking victim if the woman involved looked to be about eight months pregnant. They're not equipped to deal with facial recognition. You just, you don't receive a hit and just sent out the warrant. The court docket says the case was dropped for insufficient evidence. A spokesperson for the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office says the charges were dismissed because the victim was a no-show at the preliminary examination. What I needed to talk to him about were you coerced into picking photo lineup number two. Detroit Police Chief James White says the allegations in the lawsuit are very concerning and they're taking the matter very seriously, but cannot comment further due to the need for additional investigation. Woodruff and her attorney believe Detroit Police need more training on the use of facial recognition. I don't feel like it was it was an investigation really done, honestly. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Kimberly. Following that lawsuit, the ACLU of Michigan is calling on DPD to end its use of facial recognition technology. They issued a statement saying in part, quote, As Ms. Woodruff's horrifying experience illustrates, the department's use of this technology must end. Furthermore, the DPD continues to hide its abuses of this technology, forcing people whose rights have been violated to expose its wrongdoing case by case.